Last but not least, we're going to see how to send push notifications from our uh, dashboard. All you have to do is open app settings and up here you have server settings. So if you scroll down, you find Android push notification. If you click settings, it will ask you for your GCM sender ID and IPI key. You have to set those from your uh, Android uh, development environment. Or if you're sending for iOS, you can click here and upload your uh, authentic authentication key and a certificate. Once you have that done, you can click more and click push. And from here, you can create audiences that can automatically integrate to your classes. So for instance, inside your user class, you can, for instance, uh, create an audience to reach only uh, people of a certain age or, or a certain area, and only those users will get the push notification delivered to. Also, we have a history of pushes, so you can uh, track back your history of sending pushes. And uh, we also have a specific parse version heavily tailored here in back for app that includes a MQTT broker in the stack. If you use that uh, version specifically, you're good to send millions of push notifications per day, totally for free and very scalably. So uh, we all know that sending a high volume of push notifications is quite difficult because once uh, it gets delivered to Google or Apple, you totally lose control of it. But if you use or uh, specific parse version to send those pushes, we will hold those pushes in the MQTT broker until we are certain they are delivered to Google or Apple. And then you can rest assured, even with a huge number of pushes to send, most of your pushes will be delivered and those who are not delivered will be kept in the MQTT broker so you can have history on that as well.